I thought I'd go ahead and do one more established identity problem. And this one um, is a little more challenging because it involves fractions. So here we have 1 plus cotangent theta, all divided by secant theta plus cosecant theta. Apparently this is equal to cosine of theta. Definitely want to start with the with the left-hand side here, it's much more complicated than the right-hand side. So I'm just going to go ahead and write that down. I have 1 plus cotangent theta divided by secant theta plus cosecant theta. And let's see what that is equal to. Probably the best place to start is to just write everything in terms of sines and cosines. So if we do that, we'll write 1 plus, instead of cotangent, we'll write cosine of theta divided by sine theta. And then we have that whole thing divided by secant of theta. Remember, it is 1 over cosine theta plus cosecant of theta is going to be 1 over sine theta. All right. Now it looks like we've made this a lot more complicated, but really we haven't because now with everything in terms of sines and cosines, we can actually do this addition of the two fractions in the numerator and the denominator of the, the big fraction. So first we need to find a common denominator on top. Let's write 1 as sine theta over sine theta. So we get sine theta over sine theta plus the cosine theta over sine theta. And in the denominator, a little more room here, cosine, 1 over cosine theta and 1 over sine theta, the best way to find a common denominator here, just multiply the two denominators. Um, so the common denominator should be cosine theta times sine theta. The first fraction, we already have a cosine theta, so we're missing a sine theta. So we multiply top and bottom of that fraction by sine of theta. We get sine of theta divided by cosine theta times sine theta. In the second fraction, we already have the sine theta, so we're missing the cosine theta. So on top, we're going to have cosine theta divided by, well, we had the sine theta already and we've multiplied by the cosine theta on top and bottom, so we also have the cosine theta. All right, so now the top has a common denominator, sine theta, and the bottom of our big fraction has a common denominator, common denominator. So we can actually do the addition on top and on bottom. So on top, we're going to have a denominator of sine theta, and on the numerator of that top fraction, we're going to have sine theta plus cosine theta. So sine theta plus cosine theta divided by just sine theta, the common denominator. And for our bottom half of the fraction, we're going to have, well, sine theta plus cosine theta divided by its common denominator, which is cosine theta times sine theta. OK. Now we have one fraction divided by another fraction, so we need to do that division. Of course, the way you divide a fraction by another fraction is by multiplying by the reciprocal of the denominator. So we come up here. That will be the numerator. Again, just write that down. Sine theta plus cosine theta over sine theta and then times the reciprocal of the denominator. So cosine theta times sine theta divided by sine theta plus cosine theta. Okay, now when you multiply these two fractions, of course you just multiply straight across, but keep everything in parentheses here. And that's important because now when you multiply straight across, that means you just do that. Now we have a sine theta plus cosine theta on bottom. We have the same thing, sine theta plus cosine theta on top, so those will cancel out. So what we'll be left with is a cosine theta times sine theta 
on top, and in the denominator, just that sine theta. And now we have sine theta over sine theta. Sine theta over sine theta is 1, so that leaves us just with cosine theta as we were hoping to find. That's the other side. So we get to put a check mark. All right, so these can get complicated because you have to do the addition or subtraction of fractions. Just remember, find a common denominator, do it all out, be careful with everything. Hopefully stuff will cancel out and it shouldn't be too bad. Hope this has helped and thanks for watching.